propped up against a white boring wall right now and that's because this is my first video in the new apartment. Oh, I do have an update on my weight, so. Hey guys, Raif Darazi here. And thank you so much, first of all, for sticking around when uh, there was this huge birth of time, big birth of time, <laughs> where there were no videos coming out from me. I've been overwhelmed as I've talked about in numerous videos at this point, but I think, I think I'm in a place now where I'm going to prioritize making videos and putting them out on a consistent, regular basis for myself and for y'all. Now you're probably wondering why I'm propped up against a white, boring wall right now, and that's because this is my first video in the new apartment. <laughs> So, I want to show you this apartment that I was so excited for, for multiple videos, and finally moved in. We've actually been here for just over a month, a month and two days. We're like 90, 95% there, and by we, I mean my boyfriend and I, Bo, he was in the last video, and, and Dookie, let's not forget Duke. No one could ever forget Dookie. And we're about 90, 95% moved in, you know, we still need some furniture pieces and things like that, but for the most part, it's really starting to feel like home, and that's really exciting, and I love it here. I love it here. Don't make me leave. Oh. Okay, so, yeah, let's, so, here we are. Where are we right now? We are in my new office. Lovely, okay, I'm gonna, I know, I'm sure I'm making you dizzy right now. I'm just making myself dizzy. This is the office. Well, actually, rewind. Let's go to the front door and do the grand official tour from the beginning. Okay, let's go, bye. So this is the entryway. I don't really have, you'll notice I don't really have anything on the walls yet. So, little closet, an opening here, cool, cool. And then into the first bathroom. This is the guest bathroom, if you will, which has a nice little bathtub. Bo wanted to get one of these um, bamboo things so you can put your, like, you know, your iPad or whatever, your book, a little glass of wine, whatever you want, if you will, while you're taking a nice relaxing bath. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one of the next room, down the hall. Ooh, and it's got this nifty nest thing. I, I mean, I've heard of it, but I never, I never used it myself until now. But it will, I can, I can like set the temperature remotely from, my, from an app. And then when I leave the apartment, it knows. And it'll go into eco mode, which means that it'll stop cooling and it'll let it go up to like 77, 78 degrees. And once I enter the apartment, it'll start cooling again. Sweet, right? So this is my office. I still don't have my, uh, that the like wall tiles up yet. I think I might want to get like a neon written sign. Just make it a little more lively than the last one. The last one was literally just those white panels. And so I want to, you know, add some more character to it. But yeah, this is where I'm doing a lot of work. On to the rest of the house. My arm's getting tired. Holy crap, this thing's heavy. I forgot. <laughs> okay, this is the kitchen. I love this kitchen. It's super, I mean, this whole apartment is super modern, contemporary, and it's just so streamlined. We got these cool um, little bar stools to go with it. Cabinetry here, a little hidden fridge, not little, but a nice hidden fridge. Freezers down below. Yeah, this is the master. We don't have uh, end tables yet, those are coming in a couple days. TV, this is actually meant for the living room. That's why it's so big, but um, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. We've got the two. We wanted to mount it on the wall, and it's so hard to get anyone to come out and install a TV. We, we're using TaskRabbit, which is, if you don't know, is an app where you can like hire independent contractors to come out and do like random stuff. And I've used it before, it's great, but we've gone through so many different TaskRabbits who confirmed, and then like the day before would cancel. And I think that's just a recurring problem with people working in general and employees. Like it's hard to find people 
to work and to commit and to come through. Anyway, okay, check out this view. So this is the rest of the building over here. And then this is the view of LA. Pretty cool, right? Pretty sweet. So that is the view. And on we go into the closet. Arguably one of the most important features in the apartment. It's nice walk-in, built-in little dresser. This is my dresser. And then the master bathroom. Uh, this bathroom just screams serenity and peace and clean. Nice shower. It's I'm I'm so grateful and happy to be living here. This is like this is a big stepping stone for me and it is a, a, an important waypoint for me and marker um, as I build my career and what I'm doing and it's just so nice to live somewhere that feels like, you know, I'm, I'm like excited to come home and spend time here. So these windows all around the apartment um, are floor to ceiling and these blinds, there's blinds for all of them and they come up and down. It goes all the way through to the bedroom. And there's some on this wall too, facing our patio. And, excuse me. <laughs> And this is not just some basic patio. This is a nice patio. And so I saw a lot of people put this astro turf out here. So I just lay down the big grass and then I'm gonna get a little like area rug to go right here. And then eventually, actually Monday, which is in two days, I'm gonna have some furniture to go out here, tables, get some plants, make it really like homey, like a nice, outdoor zen vibes so that I can enjoy being outside in my own private like space and Dookie loves it too huh Dookie? Dookie you like the apartment babies? Do you like it? Yeah you do. Duke's like seriously opened up so much he's way more chill he's like not afraid to walk around the apartment and explore things and go up to windows and he's super playful like, this has just been such a solid move for Dookie. Hi, huh, babies. Oh, boy. Yeah, good boy. Ah, you can give me kisses? Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. So anyway, yeah, that is the tour of the apartment itself. Maybe one of these days I'll take you through, through the amenities when I'm not feeling embarrassed to go walk around with a camera in my hand. <laughs> But yeah, I'll do that eventually. But this is our beautiful two bedroom, two bathroom apartment with a balcony and a high rise in downtown LA. It's like, it's pretty amazing. All right, so I had my workout this morning and I wanna try out this new protein powder I got. Someone reached out to me on Instagram and they wanted to send me some vegan protein powder. I've never had vegan, I've always done a whey, which is dairy. And so I want to try it out and I figure why not try it out with you guys. I'm not being sponsored. They didn't offer me free product in exchange for doing a social post or anything like that. I just think whenever there's something like new and interesting that I can try out, I would much rather try it out with you guys and share the experience with you. And I'm going to be totally honest. So I have no like, you know, stake in the game. I have no reason to like pretend to like this protein if I don't like it or whatever. So here we go. Not to mention this is like free promo for this company. What else? You know, I firmly believe that, first of all, I don't want to be the type of person who wants to make a dollar off of every single little thing. That's not, that's not who I am. That's not how I want to be. And I also believe that when you're giving of yourself and without letting other people take advantage of you, when you're giving of yourself and you have that generous spirit and you kind of just help people out here and there, help companies and brands and whatever, then it'll come back to you tenfold. That's biblical. Okay. So I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce this company actually. Newsist? New, Newsest. Newsest? Maybe? Let me focus in on that. Is this news, Newsist or Newsest? Kind of reminds me of Nudist, but. So this is clean, lean, protein, 
machine. Rich chocolate. So we've got rich chocolate, and then there's also smooth vanilla. It says it's vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, lectin-free. It says there's 20 grams, 20 to zero grams of protein per two scoops. I wonder if these scoops are kind of small because that seems like a lot. So this is the smooth vanilla. Smooth vanilla. Not really, I usually, actually I never get vanilla protein. Mmm, it smells creamy. Um, because I'm not a big vanilla person, I love chocolate. I'm a sucker for chocolate. So actually, these are pretty decent sized scoops. So that's the scoop size, and it says two of these, and this is obviously like a sample bottle size. So let's try it out, and let's use their little shaker they gave me. Okay, I hate, I hate, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bashing this company's shaker, but like this is just common in a lot of shakers. It has this free little like springy ball in it and it helps break up the protein chunks and helps mix it. But I found that most, most, <laughs> but I found that most good quality protein, you don't need, you don't even need this little thing. I throw that away. I always just use the shaker bottle in the top and I shake it and it mixes just fine. I don't like those things, they're loud and clingy and it's just it's just an extra part that you end up losing or it gets lodged in your dishwasher or whatever. I, I, it's not necessary. Oh, it's made by Blender Bottle, that's why. Blender Bottle always has these balls in it. That's actually part of the logo. All right, let's try the vanilla because I never, I never do vanilla because I'm like, ugh, I don't want it, but. Who knows, maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll switch. One scoop and two scoops. Okay, add water. Let's see the recommended amount. Cause that makes a big difference, guys. If you ever mix like a protein or even a pre-workout or something like that, and you're like, this tastes disgusting. Check the instructions to see how much water they're actually saying to put in there. Cause oftentimes it's way less than what you think and it makes it taste better. Or if it's too strong, add more water to dilute it, and then you get like a kind of a, a lighter flavor that might be more palatable for you. So this is saying to add, I don't see any instructions on how much water to add, which is interesting because usually when they do their quality control and they check to see how it tastes, there's an optimal amount of water that you want to add. And they recommend that to people so that they, there's a better chance that they'll like it. But it's not on here. That's something I would recommend. Put on how much is the recommended amount of water. Anyway, small detail. Let me add some water. That's good. Mm -hmm. Let's get thick. 12 ounces. Mmm. Mmm. Let me try that again. Okay, so when it was too thick, I'm tasting, I feel like I'm right now I'm tasting some artificial sweetener. Pea protein isolate, natural vanilla flavor, and thal, thal, thalmatin, thal, thalmatin. I need to look up what that is really quick. First of all, when it was really thick, um, the vanilla flavor was pretty pronounced and it was good. Now that it's more like a normal protein shake consistency, what I would consider a normal consistency, the flavor really falls flat and it's really watery. And I don't care for it. I, if I would have known, I would have left it at like eight ounces of, of water, six to eight ounces of water, but then it would have been really thick, which is, so that's weird to me. Okay, I'm looking up Thaumatin, T-H-A-U-M-A-T-I-N. Uh, clean, lean, protein, natural sweetener. That's what it is. Thalmatin is a low calorie sweetener and flavor modifier. The protein is often, it's a protein. The protein is often used primarily for its flavor modifying properties and not exclusively as a sweetener. The thalmatins were first found as a mixture of proteins isolated from the katemfe fruit of West Africa. How interesting is that? So I guess it's a natural sweetener, kind of like stevia. 
kind of has that stevia quality. It's not terrible, the sweetener. I still think as it stands with almost 12 ounces of water in here, this protein is not good. It's just not. It mixed really well. I don't have a problem with that. Um, it's not grainy, there's no lumps. So the consistency is good, but that vanilla is just false flat. So I'm actually gonna dump this out and I'm gonna try the protein and see if I like that better. This one is rich chocolate. Let's see how rich this chocolate is. It needs to be pretty rich. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> to impress these taste buds. Scoop number one, scoop number two. See, now, had they labeled the bottle with the appropriate amount of water, then I would have known not to add 12 ounces. So I'm gonna only add eight to 10 ounces of water, and then we'll go from there. Mm, mm, mm. It is so thick, it's almost like pudding. Okay, let's go up to 10 ounces. Remember, the first time I had 12 ounces, and it was like, mm, too watery. So add a little bit, it's just over eight. Try it again. That's better. I'm honestly disappointed. It's pea protein. Pea protein, I feel like, is notoriously hard to make taste good. Ugh. It's just not enjoyable to drink. Now, for someone like me, if, I, if it's really important for me to go for a vegan protein, ugh. No, I don't like that aftertaste. Something really bitter. Ugh. Jarring. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a fan of this protein. <laughs> sorry, sorry, newsist. But um, okay, sorry. I had to swap out the battery. So I think with this brand, I actually prefer the vanilla. And I think if I keep it at eight to nine ounces, um, then it'll taste good, and it'll be just about the right consistency. And this, something's wrong with that chocolate flavor. It's not, mm -mm. it's bitter. It's almost dark chocolatey, which I love dark chocolate, but then it just has this like overwhelming bitter quality that's not, it's not a good bitter. Ugh. We're gonna try this vanilla and we're gonna do it right. Let's give it, let's give it its fair shake, so to speak. It's mild, it's clean, it's well mixed, it's smooth, it doesn't have any bitterness whatsoever, very clean. My one minor gripe about this is that at eight to nine ounces, it's a little thick, just a little thick. It's kind of, it kind of makes you go like, oh, okay. I, I would add some more water to this if I didn't think that it was gonna detract from the flavor. But outside of that, it's solid, it's solid. I, I, could, I could recommend this and be okay with it and have a clear conscience. I just wouldn't run to the store or online necessarily to buy this. Now, like I was saying, if, I, if it was really important to me to get a vegan protein, and this is a brand that I was familiar with, then I would go with the vanilla, and I would be perfectly content, and I'd be good to go, and I'd be fine. It's fine. I'm not wowed, but it's fine, yeah. And just in general, I wanna communicate that I've been incorporating more vegan products into my diet, like uh, Impossible Beef and Beyond Burger. So eventually going vegan with my protein will be nice, but I'm not gonna do it any sooner than um, my ability to find a product, <laughs> a protein that I enjoy and like to drink as much as the one I like to drink now. Oh, I do have an update on my weight. So as a lot of you guys know, my peak weight about a month and a half, two months ago, was 203 pounds. That's the most I've ever weighed. The most, since before the pandemic that I had ever weighed was probably like 175, I think. So to be 203 was mind blowing and soul crushing in a lot of ways. But I've been working on dieting since then and going back to the gym and incorporating exercise, being more mindful of things like that. And so I've managed to lose about seven pounds, give or take, of fat and that fluctuates day to day, which is totally normal. It, it's, I'm sure it does for you as well, and it is normal. So don't worry about weight fluctuations that are like two, three pounds. Um, and I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep updating on my weight loss journey and the things that I'm doing with my diet and stuff like that. I'm still eating Factor 75 meals. 
I'm getting a little sick of some of the, the meals, so I'm gonna see if there's more options that I can switch to and try. I noticed that a lot of their meals have a lot of like sauce, a lot of cream, a lot of cheese, and it's, sometimes I don't want all that. Something, sometimes I just want something that's like really fresh and healthy and light and doesn't have a bunch of sauce and shit in it. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's where I'm at so far. Making progress, I'm doing great. Let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. Ask me your questions if you wanna ask them. I'm trying to be more active on, on social media in general, Instagram, whatnot. I went through a bunch of questions that I haven't touched in like four months. So I'm slowly, slowly getting the train, moving back up again. Um, like this video if you liked it, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, um, share this video, this channel with other people that you might think are would benefit from it to the HIV community, people who are newly diagnosed, people who are struggling, or who just might benefit from seeing more people like themselves who are thriving, surviving, you know, living their best life, and as well as the LGBTQ community. I wanna do more of that type of content. Mental health, fitness. Um, this, this channel just overall is just about living your best life, living to your potential, and um, really taking charge of your life and not being a victim to it. Taking ownership and responsibility. And with that said, I'm out. I'll be back soon. I've got more great content coming for you. Okay. <laughs>